Steve, this is MD Anderson recording outside the motorhome studio and I am just doing a quick charge up on the super capacitors. And I remember last time I did this how freaky it was to do it because when it, the capacitors are low on voltage, it just sucks the battery dry and it throws so much current. I was hoping to catch some of the spark and stuff. So right now I've got my two 2.7 volt capacitors in a series. So it goes negative, positive, negative, positive. So here at the end, I'm supposed to get 5.4 volts at the end. And whoops, my thing just fell off. And right now, they are only charged to 2.66. So when I put this on there, the current will flow very fast because there's no resistance on this. So let's see if I can get some sparks. wires are getting hot. I don't know if you can see it, but it melted the lead right here. Really good. And it went up to 2.77 volts. Ooh, warm. Every time I put it on there, I get new scratch marks. It's kind of cool. That's definitely not good on the battery, but um, that pumped it up to 2.88 volts. Now, woo, get a little bit of smoking on that one. Awesome. But that jumped it to 3.01 volts. Ooh, it's probably see a sizzle. It's kind of fun. All right, let's, let's do it again. Three point, oh, my negative terminal starting to smoke over here as well. Uh, 3.17, 3.18 volts, get a little higher. Ooh. I'm gonna have to give it a chance to uh, cool down a little bit. My fingers don't like that temperature as much. Um, but, so obviously to charge the things, I won't be able to um, charge it very well. So my goal with the Fiero is to have these up to 12 volts, but every time I add these together, it cuts the farads in half. So basically, I've only got 1,500 farads worth of capacity because it's pushing more joules at the same time. At least that's the theory I know. If you know more than math on it, hey, you know, write a comment below and let me know. Um, so I have these heat sinks from an old computer that I had. It was an old server uh, chassis mount. It had two CPUs on it. I've kept the, the cooling uh, fans and the heat sinks. So those big MOSFETs that I got, I mounted them on here. So I'm gonna do this with both of them because I got the four MOSFETs. I'm probably gonna end up needing a lot more of these for what I've uh, realized. Um, so if I pulse in the, the voltage, it will charge these. So I'll be able to use the Arduino to do that. As well, since I'm using the capacitors, I don't wanna be buying a couple hundred of these just to get it up to 120 volts. So, um, using the Arduino, I'm going to be able to use more MOSFETs and pulsate an alternating current because I can take 12 volts and up it into 120 volts, which I did on the, uh, uh, the big power inverter that I have. But the power inverter is showing me to have problems that it um, has limitations such as safeguard protections. And it keeps a little buzzer going off every time I draw way too much amperage. But right now I don't want the safeguard, so I'm going to build my own AC uh, unit uh, from DC to AC inverter. And I'll be using the Arduino and these as well. So uh, there's an update for now, and I hope everybody continues to have another great week.